uh, let's go to Richard here in Austin, Texas. Richard, are you there? Yes. How are you doing? Great. Uh, Martin, how are you? Martin and Jeff, it's uh, been enjoyable to see you, both of you, for about eight years already. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I see you on, on and off, not all the time, but, and I really enjoy the show. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Christian, and I believe in a creator. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. And the greatest uh, evidence, I guess, that I can present to both of you is uh, just look at yourself in the mirror, you know, that, uh, right. uh, aside from... Uh, which one of all us? The, all, the, all the animals in the, in the earth, you know. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Which of us both, should look both, in the mirror? Both of you. Yeah. Which of us should look in the mirror? Uh, both of you, you know. You know just all of us. Are you, you're, you're saying this is evidence of God? Uh, a creator. Of a creator? Well, which of us is the creator then that we're going to see when we look in the mirror? No, no, I'm no. I'm not the, following you. The, I mean, uh, the product. Okay. Mm, no, not buying it. Yeah. I know what you're, I, I, let, me, uh, let me kind of preface well, my answer here, because I know what you're trying to say. And in a sense, there's a sense in which I think you're right, but it's not going to be in the sense that you intended. It has always been my opinion that what believers call God is simply an idealized projection of self upon the world and upon the universe. We live in this big, vast well, it's not infinite, but it goes on for bajillions of light years. It's this huge, empty universe. It's full of stars and quasars and vacuum, and it's cold and it's lonely. And we don't know if we're the only living things in it or not. And that can be rather you know, existentially uh, frightening to a lot of people, the idea that we're just existing on this tiny little speck of dust for a short period of time, and then we're gone, and we won't be missed, and, uh, and, and, and that's it. And I think that in order to make themselves feel less alone, less abandoned and adrift in this big vacuum of space. People create gods. It's a, it's a projection of the human image, their own image, onto the universe. And then you have a god who is looking down upon you. He is watching over you, keeping you safe and protected, and you feel loved. And so, yeah, so when you talk about look at yourself in the mirror and you'll see God, I, no, no, I, I agree I don't, that that's what Christians are doing, but I don't no, think I don't, just I don't, not in the way you mean, say. You'll see evidence. I, excuse me, I, I don't mean it that way. I mean it like uh, the end product, you know, like there's uh, yeah. so, so yeah. many so many animals on this earth and uh, and? and not a single one can uh, can fabricate, you know, or, or cr create, you know, or we're talking to each other through a television. Well, there used to be there used to be Neanderthals, and uh, the evidence is that we wiped most of them out and interbred with the last few. Well, so, you, um, you know, it's uh, it, it's happened know, more it's, than once, dude. It's it's uh, like, uh, it, yeah, it, well, there's different arguments. It's our, an argument out there, and and you know, it's it's a theory. Yeah, no, it's not even and, that. Uh, I think it's a desire. It's a belief. It's it's the way people want to see things, and it's it's just a way of explaining the universe uh, and in human terms. In regards to the an the Andathol, you know, there's there's different stories about that, and uh, you know, you got yours, and I got mine. And no, dude, no, excuse uh, me. The st the story that is relevant concerning the Andathols is the story that has been put together by paleontologists through careful examination of the actual physical evidence. And any other story mm -hmm. is just made up. Exactly. There's a subject well, to a certain the... amount of interpretation, but every other story is just made up. Well, it's, we have, we, you know, because we're humans, we, we can uh, disagree with each other in regards to that. We can, that. but really, mm -hmm. the story to pay attention to is the one that comes from the mouths of the people who are actually looking at the facts. Well, you know, the facts, I, it's like, you can say one thing and somebody else, it, it, the facts no, could dude, be different. No, dude, how many, how, <laughs> but look, these are people, we're talking about people who have actually gone around the world, combed over the actual physical evidence and very carefully <laughs> analyzed it. Anything else you've got to tell some different story about the Neanderthals is bullshit. Compared well, to that, yeah. mm -hmm. it's a, a, yes, I understand. It's nice to think that we can just have, you know, uh, uh, everybody's opinion is equally valid, and we can, but it's not true. It is not true that all opinions are equally valid. There are some people who are good, who are like well versed in certain subjects, and they know more about it than we do. I just, okay? uh, 
I just I, don't when I you. when I have a plumbing problem in my house, I call a plumber. I don't say, "Well, I'm not a plumber, but my story about how to fix my sink is just as good as his." I That's just, ridiculous. I just don't believe uh, that we evolved from a monkey. You know, why hasn't the That's monkey? That's fine. That's fine. You don't have yeah, to. No. Nobody is forcing you to believe anything you don't want to believe. Exactly. But when it comes to when it comes to questions of you know whose uh, version of reality is the one to pay attention to. It's the one that's based on the on a careful analysis of the actual available evidence, and well, not any of the other ones. Yeah, and if there's, there, there's different evidence to different no, there situations. Isn't. No, there isn't. Yeah. I believe so. Well, again, you can you can right. believe as that's many. That's not what it's about, dude. You can believe as many incorrect things can as we you like. What we're on, trying to uh, explain camera, is, camera three on Martin, please. is that belief and opinion are not the same thing. See, and this is this sort of conflation. Of the two ideas, two? yeah, so we got we got different opinions and different in, uh, in our culture. Yeah, I, yes, there are people who have different stories about how certain events play out. And as Jeff's trying to explain to you, the one mm -hmm. that you that is actually backed up by the available evidence is the one at the end of the day that you have to say that's factual until better evidence comes along. You can believe what you like, well, but, I mean, but beliefs aren't facts. They're they are unequal things. They're not the same concept they're not arrived at by the same cognitive tools there mm -hmm. are there there are non-trivial differences between the two well um, I'm, my you know, my shirt is red you can believe all the live long day even if you're colorblind that it is uh, you know bright pink with orange polka dots you can believe that all the live long day but yeah, it's a red I, shirt i believe i believe there were neanderthals and you know the different stories about it there i can present an Another fact uh, in regards to it, and you know, it differs from you and or you know, whoever you, the people that that you. Uh, all we're trying to get, all we're trying to explain what? to you is that you may decide upon whatever explanation of life and the universe you like, but you know, you you have that right to to yes. have that opinion and have that belief. Yes, but I, I but if that. you understand. We're simply mm -hmm. trying to get you to understand that beliefs are not equal to facts. And you could be wrong, and as long as you're willing to understand that your beliefs, however, whatever degree of satisfaction and comfort they make you feel, might not, aren't the same thing as facts. Because well, I've, met, I've met theists like that. My facts you know, could uh, differ from yours and, you know. No, like your facts, you have you're entitled to your beliefs. You're entitled to your own beliefs. You are not entitled to your own facts. Yeah. Well, the, facts the facts are, are what they based are. Based on uh, interpretation, you know, and like, dude, no. In regards uh, uh, to look, okay, uh, fine, when, but the when, only when, interpretation uh, that's valid is the one that's done by professionals. How, yes. how far back were, were the uh, no, 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 no. Uh, we're, I think we're done here. Um, look, I, and I'm going to go a little bit farther than Martin just did. Uh, while it is true that you have a right to your own beliefs. Um, at the point when you start trying to convince other people, like you're doing right now, you're trying to convince mm -hmm. me and Martin that we should take your belief seriously, right? Mm -hmm. When you do not have the evidence on your side, well, you may well, have I'm the right. You have the I'm right to free. I'm talking here. You know, I, I, I am talking you, here. Uh, Goodbye, Richard. Jeff. Mm -hmm.